Good afternoon. My name is Amy Todd with Amy's Creative Wishes. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I sell all the products I feature in these videos. Uh, we're going to start off today just talking a little bit about the Butterfly Bouquet Collection. So, and it comes with this Butterfly Brilliant stamp set. The Brilliant Wings dies. The Butterfly Bijou Designer Series Paper. And the Natural Touch Specialty Paper. Which looks like this. It looks like birch wood. And it has a texture too. It has... So it's, it's beautiful paper. Um, both of them are beautiful papers. And with this die... You can die cut the images straight from this designer series paper. There's eight sheets of each design in this paper. So we'll just give you a quick kind of flip through. They're, it's just, I don't know, I just love this paper. I'm probably going to be buying more packs of it because I love it so much. But I always, I've always loved butterflies, so this collection was made for me. Um, so it this die not only cuts out the designer series paper, but it will cut out the stamp set as well. And then there's all these other dies. There's a set of six dies that will fit over top of these and they're intricate. So they're really detailed. And then there's these two small itty bitty butterflies that stand on their own. And then these, uh, these neat background dies as well. And I see I'm cutting in and out again, and I'm not sure why. I do apologize for that. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, anyway, we'll just continue on, and hopefully it won't cut out too much. Before I get going on my cards, I want to announce that if you share this video and com and you're in Canada and you comment shared in the, in the if you comment shared in the original post, Facebook post, you will be entered into a draw to win your choice of the beaded pearls, a brand new set. The Textured Essentials stamp set. The Happiest of Birthdays stamp set. The Heal Your Heart Celebration stamp set. And Celebration's over. Yeah, Celebration's over, so you can't get these two stamp sets anymore. This is also a Celebration set called Approaching Perfection. It's all about birthdays, and it's got some cute, funny sentiments in it. And this is a beautiful sentiment stamp set. So both of these, as I said, were celebration sets. Celebration is over, so... Um, but I have extras, so I'm giving those away. Or the happiest birthday or te textured essentials. So share this video. Let me know that you've shared it. And I will put you into a draw to win one of those items. Um, and one more thing before we do the cards, I want to show you something that I, I saw from another demonstrator. Her name is Linda Cullen. She's, sorry, it cut out again. Her name is Linda Cullen. She's with Crafty Stampin', and she showed on one of her videos recently, just, I think it was just this week, um, earlier in the week, she showed that if you color... This natural touch specialty DSP with your Stampin' Blends, you get a stained wood look. So that was Dark Smoky Slate. This is Dark Crumb Cake. This is Dark Soft Suede. And this one is uh, 
And then I have the bronze. So, I'm going to hold that up close to the camera so you can see. So that was dark smoky slate, dark crumb cake, dark soft suede, dark cinnamon cider, and bronze. And it it does. It looks like stained wood. I mean, that's awesome. It even has the the shine that's... So I'm not using this technique in my cards today, but I just really wanted to show it because I thought it was really, really neat. So, um, yeah. So I'm just going to set that to the side and then I'll bring it back at the end of the video for people that might have missed it. It's weird. We're doing two cards today. Um, and they're both fairly very simple. So these are the two cards. Um, I'm going to change it up a bit. This one I did a layer behind the Natural Touch Designer Paper. I did a layer of um, Misty Moonlight. But today I'm going to do Poppy Parade. And then this one, instead of... What I did was I actually stamped the butterflies on designer series paper. And it's the one that has like the pinks and the corals and... Today I'm going to stamp on this page. And the background will be this Calypso coral. So um, I kind of like how the colors go together. And I'll be doing a layer of Bermuda Bay behind this DSP layer. Whereas here I did... Um, oh, Magenta Madness. And then this DSP is, if you, I'll hold it up close so you can see the design on the DSP. It's um, Bermuda Bay, and I want to say just Jade, but I'm not 100% sure. It could be um, Coastal Cabana. Okay, so let's get started on these two cards today. Um, I'll start with... This one first. And as I showed you at the beginning, you can cut this sheet of DSP with the die that comes in the dies. So I've done that already. Um, and I have a bunch of butterflies here. I have all the butterflies die cut out. Um, but I think I'm going to use these two for the card so they're um they're bigger than this but i i believe they'll still they'll still work so um first thing is is i have a piece of basic white cardstock cut to eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter so we're gonna fold that and give it a good crease with my bone folder Then I have a piece of Poppy Parade that measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And this um, natural touch paper measures three and three quarters by five. And I'm just gonna use some snail to attach those two together. And it's just going to leave, leave a very, very small border. But it's it's enough that it gives it a, a nice touch. Actually, it looks a little big. So let me take my little trimmer here and cut off a slice. That looks a little better. And that is going to get put on the basic white card base with snail. The only thing I really wanted to pop was the sentiment and the butterflies, but the butterflies I'm going to curl to give it a nice pop. Oh, and I'm using the Story Label Punch. Sorry, that's a glare that doesn't really show it very well. It's this one. I'm using it with a scrap piece of basic white. I almost said Whisper White, but it's basic white.
I'm going to stamp, oh, the other stamp set I'm using today, because the Butterfly Brilliance doesn't come with sentiments, I'm bringing in Happy Thoughts. This stamp set um, was designed by a demonstrator who reached her million dollar career to date sales. And it's Jackie Ballhouse is the demonstrator that designed this stamp set. And it has sentiments for the outside of the card as well as the inside of the card. Just some very beautiful sentiments. So I'm using the Thinking of You. And I'm going to grab the Poppy Parade so that it matches the Poppy Parade cardstock that I have in the back there. And Thinking of You. That stamps well. Okay. Oh, well, it's kind of at a diagonal, but I actually like the way that looks. So we'll go ahead and use it. Use it. Um, that's going to be put on dimensionals. So that it doesn't... Um, doesn't get squished in the mail. And that's just going to go in the upper center of the card. And then that way the two butterflies can just kind of look like they're flying towards the sentiment. But first, I'm going to bend the butterflies where the body is. Give them a bit of a crease. And then curl them upwards, but I kind of like the look of this. So it looks like this. And I'll do the same to this one. Bend at the body. And then curl outwards. And I'm going to use just liquid glue to adhere them. Just on the body. Hold it down on the body so that it, the glue adheres. And again, hold the body. And then see, it, it looks like they're in flight because I've curled the wings. And then the only other thing to do is to take another one of the butterflies. Just one of these small ones. I'll use this one. And put it in the bottom corner on the inside. And then um, when I'm ready to send this out, I will put a sentiment on the inside. But I like the thinking of you because that can be for any occasion. Um, it can be sympathy. It can be I'm thinking of you for your birthday. Um, it can be just a general I'm thinking of you because I miss you. Um, any number of things. So I, I, I really love the thinking of you sentiment. So these are the two cards. Uh, which do you like better, the red or the blue? Let me know in the comments which you prefer, the red or the blue. And I'll get set up here for the next card. Yeah, oh. Okay, so I'm going to move all these aside. And the next card, I'm going to use my Stamparatus. So Stamparatus is a stamp positioning tool. And um, you'll see why I like it. Um, where's that DSP? So as I said, I'm using this. D this sheet of DSP to stamp this stamp. And can you see the stamparatus? Yeah, you can see most of it. Um, and so I'm just going to ink it up in Memento Black. Or 
Memento Tuxedo Black, I believe it's called. And then stamp it. And I'm gonna use my sleeve to really apply, apply some pressure and hopefully get it all stamped well. But if not, I can stamp it again and it'll be in the exact same spot. Yeah, see, it didn't get very well over here and I had that happen the last time too. So that's why I like using this Stamparatus. I'd also like the rest of them to be darker. I see I keep cutting out. I do really, really apologize. I'm so, so sorry. Um, so those that are watching, please comment where you're watching from and... Let me know if you have this bundle or this collection or if it's something that's on your wish list. Well, everything got darker except those spots that weren't. That didn't get it the first time, so. Stamp it again. So, yeah. There, there we go. Now they're all dark. And so I want to die cut this. Move this out of my way. Um, unfortunately, I cannot fit the die cutting machine, the cut and emboss machine. I can't fit that in my video because my camera is too low. Um, so I'll have to take it off to go off screen just for a couple seconds to die cut that out. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I do apologize about that. I'm hoping to get a new phone holder, camera holder sometime. Sometimes couple butterflies here. I think I'll use those two. Actually, no, I want to use the big one this time. And that one. Hopefully they'll both fit on the card okay. They should. So these are the two I'm going to use. Um, let me put my die back before I drop it or lose it or. So didn't these butterflies just turn out beautiful? I love the idea of stamping them on the designer series paper. See the colors you get by doing that? It's beautiful. And this one, Remember I did the pinks? I did the page that has the pinks in it. Um, okay, so put those aside. I have a piece of basic black cardstock. This is a basic card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we're gonna fold that and crease it with my bone folder, or burnish it, I should say, with my bone folder. Uh, these two pieces, Get adhered just with some some uh, snail, or if you have the stamp and seal, use the stamp and seal. You can use um, Tombow mono adhesive as well if you want. Whatever your choice of glue is, you can use it. And then this gets adhered flat to the basic black card base. Oh, I just remembered something I forgot to do in the last card. I can't believe I forgot. We'll do it at the same time because I'll be doing it to this card as well. So there we go. Um, and then I 
want to stamp. Oh, I forgot. An, oh, no. I have an inside layer right here. There's my inside layer, which is three and three quarters by five. And then I'm going to do another thinking of you with the same label punch, the story label. Punch that out of basic white. And I'm going to use the thinking of you, but this time I'm going to use it in Calypso Coral. So I need to, because I had used it in Poppy Parade before. I wonder if I can get it straight this time. <laughs> Thinking of you. That's a little straighter. But I actually like how it looks when the on the crooked one. Okay, and I forgot I need one of the small butterflies for the inside. One's for the inside. So that and again I'm not gonna put a sentiment on the inside because I'll wait until I send out the card to determine what I want. Chances are they'll end up being sympathy cards, but but let's wait and see. I might need them before that time comes. Who knows? And I say that because my mom's been diagnosed with cancer and she doesn't have very long to live, so... I'll be giving cards to my aunts. Um, okay, and previous card. As you can see, the sentiment, I fussy cut. I don't really like fussy cutting, so I thought I would try the label, the story label punch this time. But if you like the look of the fussy cutting, comment in the comment below and let me know, and I will fussy cut it out. But in the meantime, I'm going to do the same thing with these butterflies that I did with the last card. Use my bone folder to curl the butterflies. And I, I see it moved when I was die cutting it, so they're not they're not perfect. So you know what? I think I might do a little bit of fussy cutting after all, because this just go and a little bit more here there that looks a little better and again I'm going to use the glue and just put the glue on the body and I'm going to put the oh wait there's more that needs to be fussy cut So what do you say, ladies? Should I fussy cut the sentiment like I did last time? Just gonna glue that down and fluff up the wings. And then glue this one down and So, 
Fussy cut or leave as the label? So that's what it looks like with the label. I think I'm going to leave it as the label and I'll just use some dimensionals. No one's commenting, so I'll leave it as the label for this one. And that just goes up in the top. And then there's the inside. So these are the two cards for today. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, I forgot again. So on the originals, I put some Wink Estella on the wings of all the butterflies. So let me do that. And yes, this particular Wink Estella is contraband. It's not Stampin' Up, but Stampin' Up does have... Um, and I've lost it. But I had this one out on my table, so I'm using it. And after I'm done here, I will hold it up to the camera... And hopefully you'll be able to see the sparkle and shine. So can you see? Mm, I don't think you can really see it, can you? It doesn't really show up very well on the... Yeah, it doesn't really show up. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, it does. It's. I'm sorry it doesn't show up on camera, but it really adds, really adds to it. So I'm just going to... I like the sparkle and the glitter. It's just like a... Um, if you're not familiar with what Wink of Stella is, it's basically a glitter... A glitter pen. Um... It just applies glitter to whatever you're, whatever you're using it on. So, and I'm normally not a glitter person, but on the butterflies, I, I really like the shine and the glitter it gives. Oh, I wish it would show up on camera. Well, maybe once I get a new camera holder and. Maybe better lighting in here. It'll show a little better. But in the meantime, these are the cards that we made today. Well, these two we made today. These two are my... my if you share this video and you're in Canada, you will be entered into a draw to win one of these stamps. You get to choose which one you want. Textured Essentials. Happiest of Birthdays. The Celebration Set Heal Your Heart or the Celebration Set Approaching Perfection. Or if you don't want one of those stamp sets or say you have them all already, then you can choose the Beaded Pearls, which I have a few packs of. So, And I want to bring this back into the... So, what I did, I did this at the beginning in case you missed it. Um, it's the Natural Touch Specialty Paper that is while supplies last. I forgot to mention that. And so is the, the Butterfly Bijou Designer Series Paper. They're both while supplies last. These two items will not be carrying over into the annual catalog that comes out in May. These, the stamp set and the dies, will be in the catalog, the annual catalog that comes out in May. But these will not. These are strictly while supplies last. Um, or until, or no, until the end of April or the very beginning of May. I think May 2nd or May 3rd is when these will no longer be available. But with this natural touch paper, at the beginning of the video, I colored it to show you colored it with Stampin' Blends to show you 
that it looks like stained wood. So this was dark smoky slate, dark crumb cake, dark soft suede, dark uh, cinnamon cider, and then the bronze. And isn't that neat? I just love that. So, um, and then of course there's the original like this. So, um, I'm definitely going to be using, I'm definitely going to be using this technique, um, in the future. Um, I might actually be using this same collection for my videos next week. And perhaps I'll use this. I'll see if I can come up with something where I use this technique coloring the the natural touch with our Stampin' Blends. But I want to thank you all for watching. And if you share this video, thank you very much for sharing. That really helps me out. Please also give me some likes and some hearts. That helps me out as well with the algorithm, the Facebook algorithms. And I'll be posting this video in just a little bit to my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. It's Amy's Creative Wishes. Just like on my Facebook page, is Amy's Creative Wishes. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, if you would like to shop, you can shop at amyscreativewishes.stampinup.net. And you can reach me at my email, amyscreativewishes at gmail.com, or right here on my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. Um, I think that's it for today, so thank you very much, and I hope to see you next week. Bye.